Cora TV. The world is thinking. We have a question up here in the front. While the microphone is coming up, I want to ask you a quick question. Carl Rove will be here. What question would you ask him? I would ask him to give you an honest answer to the <laughs> I would ask him to give you an honest answer to the following question. If Bill Clinton were president and his Carl Rove, Rahm Emanuel, had participated in conversations with the press to out a CIA agent, destroy her career as an undercover operative, and blow her cover, including all, which undermined the cover of all the other agents, and compromised God only knows how many people they were in touch with who were probably talking about weapons of mass destruction and terror. And then, all because this poor agent had the misfortune to be married to a guy who wouldn't falsify his findings on a trip to Africa about nuclear transfers to Iraq. That is, Joe Wilson committed, and, and keep in mind, Joe, Joe Wilson <laughs> voted against me in 1992 and gave a contribution to President Bush in 2000. This is a career public servant. This is not some wild-eyed liberal Democrat. Now, if you were managing the Republicans campaign in the Congress, and Bill Clinton's Rahm Emanuel did this, along with other, at least one other person in the White House, and then <clears throat> President Clinton did nothing about it except to say, tisk tisk. Would you or would you not <laughs> instruct all Republican senators and House members to take a floor in their minute speaking time and call Rahm Emanuel a traitor and say the president had disgraced his office by refusing to drive out of the White House someone who had blown the cover of a patriotic career intelligence officer? That's what I would ask him. And you know what? <clears throat> I wouldn't be a bit surprised if old Carl Rove wouldn't say, that's exactly what I was done, and I don't know why they didn't. <laughs> I wouldn't be a bit surprised if that's what he says. This guy's good, but you've got to understand, <laughs> the, uh, their crowd is run, their whole deal, this, this, this strip of the Republican Party that controls everybody. I realize Mr. Rumsfeld's from Illinois and others are from other places, but basically these people are white Southern Protestant males that run this deal, the people I grew up among and with. So they don't ever do much that surprises me. I've seen this all my life. <laughs> and when I was a little boy, they were all Democrats. And you know, President Kennedy and President Johnson made them all Republicans over civil rights. And of course now they got other issues. But they're in the saddle and I just think it'd be an interesting thing to see what his answer would be. <laughs> since he likes these treason campaigns, you know. <laughs> you might ask him what he thought about that ad in 2002 comparing Max Cleland to Saddam Hussein and John Walker Lind. I mean, Max left two arms and a, two legs and an arm in Vietnam. I don't know what else he could have done for us. And he basically just didn't leave half his body to come home and vote for a Homeland Security bill that stripped the job rights from 170,000 civil servants who didn't have any access to confidential information and technology. You might ask him what he thought about that. <laughs> I'll be interested to see whether any of you do that or not. <laughs> but, or you might ask him whether he really believes... <laughs> while, there is, while there is questioning him. You might ask him whether he really believes that Democrats live in a pre-9-11 world and he lives in a post-9-11 world and how come it was more important to him to spend more than 20 times what it would cost to put sensitive uh, sensors on all the cargo containers coming into America to protect 300 million people. Why? And they couldn't afford that and that's his position in the White House. How come he's willing to spend more than 20 times that to give less than 1% of us total freedom from the estate tax? which he calls a death tax, which really a tax on unearned income that's transferred. Just, I, I might start with those. <laughs> I, I think you've built the crowd for tomorrow's event. 